Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as the United States of Greater Austria. So right now, as you can see, I am trying to go ahead and go to war with Trans Amur. Last time, like I said, we finished off all of Siberia and Eastern, well, what will be, again, Eastern Russia. So let's go ahead and go to war with these guys. Let the game lag just a little bit. And... And we will finish up our war with the Co-Prosperity Sphere, that being said. Uh, I did make the mistake last time that I made a crap ton of tactical bombers, which was fine, instead of making a crap ton of naval bombers, which was a mistake. Go figure, I make mistakes. Oh well, I do have a little bit of coffee here left. I drank half of it while I was preparing for this episode, but you know, whatever. That being said, I did move my tanks down here. It is April 1948, and we are poised to finish off the Korean Peninsula. So I'm going to talk about my plans about what places I'm going to annex from the Co-Prosperity Sphere, who I'm going to puppet, and how I'm going to treat Japan. So Japan itself is what we're going to start with. It is a very strong country. Obviously, if it wasn't a strong country, it could not have done what it did. That being said, they are on scraping the barrel and total mobilization. Now, with Japan literally in the Pacific waters here, they can help keep an eye on the Pacific Ocean, any potential enemies, especially when we go to war with the Reichspact. They will be one of my number one deterrences against the Reichspact and the Pacific when we have to go to war with them. Now, concentrated, or I guess the person who commented, or one of the people who commented yesterday, claimed that I should divide up Japan to a degree, don't take all their states, but take up some of their states such as Kyushu or Shikoku. And also give something else, give this to an ally, Hokkaido. I like the idea, but I don't believe I'm going to do that. Mostly because I want Japan to be intact as possible, at least for the home island. Everything else, its specific holdings will be ultimately given to me, and I will develop them as military bases. and places to maybe expand. So that's my goal, because if Japan had these Pacific Islands, I would not be able to develop really great radar stations that are extremely necessary for uh, the invasion of Australasia, perhaps, the East Indies, West Indies, these are East Indies, uh, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Siam, all stuff like that. That being said, oh god, don't tell me we're going to invade Siam. No, we don't need to. If we finish this war fast enough, we will not need to invade Siam. Good. But, I really, yeah, I believe I will keep Japan pretty much intact. Because there's no province here that has just a little bit of manpower that Japan wouldn't really lose that I could keep as a military base. Yeah, for example, Kyushu has almost 11 million people here. Shukoku has 4 million people. I mean, I would really, I believe, hurt Japan if I took these provinces. And I want them to be, like I said, a major player. So, I'm just going to do that. Now, I will give this island to Russia. That's an interesting name. Imperatorskaya Gavin. Gavan. And actually, I will probably give this, these islands, actually, to J to Russia as well, so that they, are, they feel a little more powerful. Because Russia has obviously been a great ally. I want to reward them for being so great. Now, that, now that's talking about Japan. At least two Chinas. Two Chinas that will help balance each other out and be a great land ally in the Pacific as well as Asia. That being said, I've already established a puppet of Qing, so I'm going to go roll with the Qing... I guess the Qing Dynasty, for lack of a better word. So we're going to keep the Qing... Come on. Come on, guys. But, let's see. Can I just stop getting... Yeah, that's good. All right, so, we're going to stop. So, I'm going to give Qing this territory. Now, that being said, that being said, I will take a massive amount of territory from them. For example, because someone did say, concentrated did say, I have been building up territory in Zhaodong, Jinan, and Lenyi. Actually, he recommended me just take these two provinces that start with J. I'm going to take this as well, just because it will look a little bit nicer and a little more unified. I mean, yeah, it's 12 million people here. That's, holy shit, 46 million people here. And then another one. That's only 1 million people? Wow, come on, China. 
I'm going to take this entire chunk, and that will be our great Chinese colony. That will be directly administrated by the United States of Greater Austria. Now, my reasoning for this is that during the Velt Creek and before the Velt Creek, we had a Chinese colony in the city of Qingdao. Now, obviously, the Germans decided to take complete control of it, and I have no access to it whatsoever. How does Qingdao have 18 oil and 18 rubber? What the heck? Regardless, since we lost that house and we don't have ownership of, of it anymore, we must be better than what they call the German Empire. Because right now, the United States of Greater Austria is truly a great nation, and we must one-up those Germans before we really take them out. So that being said, we will have the greatest Chinese colony the world has ever seen. I think this would look very nice. So obviously we're going to add, let's see, that's 46 plus 12, that's 58. We're going to have a little less than 60 million people added to the United States of Greater Austria. And Qing China will still get all of Manchuria. Concentrated did say, my fellow uh, subscriber did say, oh I did do this in with my tanks, awesome. Uh, tanks. And I have moved a few of my generals around to better satisfy the needs of everybody here. So that being said, uh, I believe I'm just going to keep Korea the same. There's not really any good point for me to expand Korea. Yeah, I could expand them at the expense of China. Yeah, that's North Northern Korea. They want He wants me to give Andong, which is only 2 million. Uh, the Fangxin or something. Oh, I will take Darren. I will take this province over. Galni, that's a really good port for me to have, so I'll take that. Yeah, I don't want to expand Korea too much, because I still want the northern Chinese Empire of Qing, basically, to be powerful still, but Korea, uh, they're still fighting against me, and I don't really want to reward them for fighting against me. And there goes Shans and Mary. And obviously this territory will not be mine. The Russians have been truly great loyal allies, and I'll give it to Russia. Good job, Russia. Awesome. And is this a core of Russia's... No, oh, it's a colony state. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. There you go. That makes more sense. Maybe they get an event saying that, oh, you can uh, core this now, but whatever. I'll just do that anyways. Uh, let's see. You guys can just come up here. Actually, you might be faster to get down here. Cool. So that is done. That is good. So we will immediately need some max out air superiority. We'll definitely need... Oh, they've got some pretty good stuff here already. Naval bases, not too important. Radar will be very important, though. Expand that one. I should get reach, hopefully, across to Japan. At least a pretty good amount. Ooh. Very nice. So we can start really spamming the living hell out of... Oh, of Japanese fleets and planes. So let's go back to where that was at. Oh, I did pause my naval bomber attacks just so that we were we were losing so many naval bombers that I had to stop naval bombing. Hmm. You gotta have water to wash out your mouth after this. So we got a hundred bombers doing that. Oh, there's that one, and we've got a few here. All right, cool. So we really need to make sure that we need to produce more heavy fighters, obviously. First of all. I'm going to really strike into the oceans there. Now, how many heavy fighters we got? We, don't, we have 144. We're barely producing any heavy fighters. Where are you? There you are. Yeah, I need more than that. Do that. Uh, I already have 55 factories on that. Uh, do I have anything to spare? We'll make one of those. It's fine. Hmm. Uh, I could probably lower my guns. Uh, it's lagging even on... One speed, wow. Tanks, we'll keep... We'll do that, because I definitely want more planes. I definitely need more heavy fighters, and we're going to need more aluminum because of that. Ah, the Italian Republic. No, not the Italian Republic. Hey, Russia. No, probably not. Denmark? You can never satisfy me, Denmark. This must be a Danish thing. Uh, sure, steel. Oh, you satisfied that, Denmark. Good job for you. Uh, let's see. Need that. All oh, right, very nice. So we'll definitely produce a lot more. We're sending our tanks in, slowly destroying our al or not our allies, destroying our enemies. Let's see what we need. Good. What is this? Like medium tanks. Let's get positive. 
Let's get a good stockpile of medium tanks first before we have to go in. Uh, I believe I told you guys to go into here. What is this? Oh. Uh, just, did I give you orders? I might have. I can't remember. Oh, it looks like they, these guys left their positions. So that's pretty good. And I will use, of course, puppet armies to invade Japan. Oh, a bar oh, there goes Hyderabad. They actually did it. Those absolute mad lads. They actually united half, or I guess technically a third of India. Oh, that is true. What's going to happen to this territory once this war is over? That's a very good question. Well, seeing as the Reich's Pact, they did most of the work, and they literally own most of the territory right now. I think all of it should really go to the Germans. Or at least the Reich's Pact. So... Because now they're fighting the Entente. Uh, you know what I could do? I could probably, in this peace conference, give Hyderabad a Gujarat. I'll give them Gujarat. I don't know how to spell it that, but, or pronounce that, but that's how I'm going to assume you pronounce it. I really didn't do too much. I, maybe I'll take Baluchistan. I will take Baluchistan. Hyderabad will get G-word province. Uh, let's see, let's do this next. Yeah. Black guys better. And then the German Chinese will get the rest of it, because Hyderabad really wasn't there to do a lot of this. So we're slowly killing off all these casualties. What's the current casualty rate? So we've suffered 181,000. The Empire of Japan has lost over 4 million. Korea's lost a little, about half a million. The Republic, oh, the Republic of the Philippines went well with as well. Alright, well, whatever. Fine with me. Uh, we did have a tank down here. Just, can we all come this way? Take him out, please. Because there's a ton of divisions here. And once these guys are done, they're pretty much they're all dead. Where are you at? Oh, you're guarding that. Uh, I don't want to over flood this area with too many soldiers because that would ruin the infrastructure. And if I did that, but and actually, actually, I'm going to start making a ton of. A naval bases here because we're going to need a massive launch into Japan, I believe. That would be pretty good. At least five more naval bases so we can invade probably the northern islands. Hopefully, try to take Tohoku so we can at least get that supply base. Alright. Oh, it's about promoted. Very nice. Do we have any more heavy fighters? We got a hundred more. And now, can I send maybe a few naval bombers in there? And by a few, I mean two. Hopefully, these guys won't get utterly destroyed, kind of like what they did in China, because it was actually pretty tough in China. Let's see, heavy fighters, heavy fighters, a ton of heavy fighters here. In the East China Sea, as well as the Yellow Sea. Quite a few enemy planes, that's okay. So we've got 700 fighters. Oh my god, that's so many fighters in the Yellow Sea as well. Over right here, we got 300 more naval bombers that I could use. Let's see if we can do that. Motorized rocket artillery, very nice. Uh, I'm, I should use marines, but you know, whatever. <clears throat> artillery, good. That's all done. Land doctrine, of course, is done. We could use some more naval stuff. Air doctrine, plus air support sounds like a good idea. Put some better tactical bombers. Oh, we have encountered some Philippine ships. Interesting enough. What's going on here? So we are doing some damage to some ships. We do have ships here, which is good to know. And sent two Siamese convoys, five Filipino convoys, and we have completely destroyed that little group there in Korea. That was Korea. Well, well it's kind of was like at least 250,000 more casualties to the Japanese. Korea, yeah, that's a lot of boys gone. So I'm going to send my tanks down here. I think just having my tanks down here will help pretty much solidify the victories over Korea. Well, nice sunk a Philippine ship. And it looks like these guys have invaded. So, I'm going to tell you guys to all garrison this side and do that. Go when you can. I'm going to tell you guys to... Actually, you know what? I'm going to separate you guys. You guys, since you are an expert in being flexible, uh, you just guard the coast for now or something. Good. This will be Russian territory soon enough. And we will need people to guard some more of the coast, but I think we're doing pretty well already, so that's pretty good. Has anyone invaded up here? No? 
You do that with your one up. Because why not? And it's a new up here as well. Oh, you're actual Austrians. Ooh, do I actually want to send you over there? Maybe not. Nope, alright, that's okay. Oh! Still got some ships over there. Are there any ships over here? I doubt it because Pyongyang is a port that is getting attacked. I probably won't have too many things over here too soon. Yeah, once my once my tanks are fully over here, ready to go. Ooh, Russia, you need some tanks. You need some more modern tanks. How are my modern tanks? Still lacking a little bit. Ooh, nice. One more convoy in exchange for a plane. Another Japanese convoy. Another Filipino destroyer. Right, so where are those? Ooh, advanced. Ooh, that's actually really good. I'm glad I did this. Better invasion defense. Great job, Mr. Muckle Lover. You're thinking way ahead of time. Or not. Really, probably not. But, let's see. He's trying to see. There they are. Yellow Sea, move yourselves over here. And just demolish anybody that shows up here. You can stop doing this, and I want you to trade it with this. Alright, my tank should be ready. Good enough to go. So go ahead and give those fellows down there a good time. So you make sure bridges so you can cross rivers a little better. Eh, we'll do it. Why not? Aggression pack. The more naval bombers we can do, more naval damage. And this one tank division isn't doing very much. Up attack from that direction. Good. Pyongyang is not looking good. For the Korean, Pyongyang has been circled. Encircled, not circled. Oh, do you have an upgrade? Oh, infantry expert. Yeah, why not? How about you? Adolf Fischer? No. Erich, Erich Hoffman. Nine. He has not anything. We got a ton of factories. We have so many factories, I'm mostly just producing infrastructure related materials. Alright, how are these looking? So we will need. Oh, actually, this is not good. But if I try to invade this area, it's going to be over in this portion of the seas. Hmm. If I invade this tile, odds are we'll invade from this portion of the sea. If I'm going to invade, it has to be on this side. So, maybe this province might be good? Uh, I mean, I could invade, but we really have dominance over here, which is really extraordinarily key. And I have to remember to move my navy over here. You know what? I might as well move my navy over here anyways. It's a massive navy like we've explored before. With 34 battleships, 30, 34 dreadnoughts. Two armored cruisers, seven cruisers, and 124 frickin' destroyers. Your new home base is Vladivostok. Go home, and I'm sure I'm probably gonna lose at least one ship on the way there. Probably gonna be destroyed. Alright, so the tanks are cleaning house with some backup infantry. Very nice. Uh, yeah, those guys died. They all died. Oh, we got some boys in the water here. We might need to fish them out, and by fishing them out, I mean, like, just demolishing them. Honestly, I'm probably going to lose a lot of planes doing this, because it's only 100 naval bombers, and convoys actually, when grouped up, have a ton of AA. If you have, like, 100 convoys in the water. Deploying, deploying, deploying. Come on, boys. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait. What? A Korean cruiser. Wasn't what I was expecting, but a welcome change, to be sure. This was unexpected, but it wasn't changed, nevertheless. Oh, and you actually did that. Wow. That's actually not a very smart move, but, you know... Actually, that was, I guess, kind of smart if you want to cut my soldier's supply off. And there goes Korea, but... Yeah, that's ultimately not a good uh, thing on your part. Go ahead and help him out. Put him out of the misery. Busan will be ours, and since this is owned by Russia, we will have an intense bombing campaign now. And we're probably going to need some more infrastructure. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just, we need a lot of stuff. Of course, we always need a lot of stuff, but that's just, that's just us. Oh, nice, look at all these dockyards, Jesus. All these, not dockyards, but, you know, naval bases. Ah, uh, making Russia great again. Oh, and we are getting bombed by enemies as our ships are moving through the, the extremely, uh, contested hostile watchers. Oh, look at this. Japan, you, you sent 10 divisions to die. That's so Japanese-like. 
All right. Anyways, planes, planes, planes. We are, will send su Southern Korea because there is no such thing as South Korea in this timeline at the moment. We will send them many fighters. Got any more fighters? What they will do is make sure that the whole of Japan, the Japanese islands themselves, will be free and uncontested of enemy superiority, or at least air superiority. We have two tactical bombers here. You, the tactical bombers, have more than enough range to literally tactically bomb the home islands of Japan. Now, obviously that's not going to be enough, but we're working on it. Let's see. Our bombers, Sea of Japan, we've not encountered very many ships. You guys are doing great. I definitely need more heavy fighters. This is good. Yeah. You know what? Throw in 800 more tactical bombers. Because when we land, my god, when we land, we are going to need a ton of close air support, which we don't have. But tactical bombers help our landing go quite a bit more smoothly. Uh, should we hit infrastructure? Hmm. We could, yeah, let's, let's bomb the hell, actually, out of their planes. Maybe some coastal forts. Radar, definitely. Any AA guns, which I doubt they have. Uh, not infrastructure, because we're going to need that. You know what? Actually, don't even do that. Just just bomb the hell out of their air bases, coastal forts, AA, and radar stations. That'll be good. I think you should be able to do a pretty good job. Uh, enemy buildings bombed. Well, they'll warm up to the task. And we will produce more and more fighters as the time goes on. Ooh. Convoy? Another convoy? Ooh. That's not good. That's okay, though. Good job, guys. We have finished off continental Asia, except for Kingdom of Siam, against Japan. Now, our ships made it over here, and we didn't lose a single ship. Wow! So, I'm going to do a test before I do any sort of invasion, or plan for any sort of invasion. We're going to search and destroy in the waters, just the Sea of Japan here, which we might actually rename to the Sea of Asia? I don't know. Korea? Russia? How many ships they got? They got 43, so they actually have quite a few ships left. But let's go ahead and plan our invasion. I don't want to use Austrians for this. Their lives are too precious. That's why we have puppets. Ah, Russia! You are a great invasion force. I know you're ready to go. So we'll send these guys to their deaths. And by deaths, I mean for the liberation of Japan. Yeah. You will attack directly. Oh, you have to go. Ooh. Never mind. Never mind. Let's go from here. This must be an entire different. Place. No, it's not a different sea power. Huh. That's not good. Well, regardless, you will attack from here. We could try to encircle that naval base if we're quick enough, or we just attack down here. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I can encircle the naval base here. I'm thinking about doing that. If we can encircle the naval base, or at least try to strike it several times. Huh. Maybe we attack that here. We could attack down here, but that that would help stop anything from going over here. Yeah, I don't like that idea either. Because that means we have to move our ships to the other side of Japan, and that's very hard to defend. I'm liking the idea of just taking this portion, so let's do that. We'll take this with you guys. So you guys will have definitely have to move fast when you get down there. Uh, no, god dang it. They're so adamant about being in this part of the sea. I mean, I could cover it, but it's extremely hard to do that. Uh, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll try it, we'll try it, you know? What's the worst thing that could happen? Russia loses a few men? Russia's got plenty of men, and they're okay with that idea. Yeah, I talked to the, to, to the field marshal, they're, they're totally okay with this. And then we will invade. We got this province, this province, this province. We will need, if we're invading on this side, we need to take this as well. Maybe one more. So that's, that will be completely surrounding that port, which we will try to enclose and crush whoever's in there early on. I don't want to send too many divisions, because they will get supply bottlenecked. Bottlenecked by supply, of course. Uh, you come here, and then the rest of the army group will just kind of be lying around here. 
Uh, you can go come up here or something. All right, so that's good. We have invasion plans ready. We haven't lost any ships yet. How is the air superiority or strategic air map mode looking? So they've got a few planes, but our planes are doing well against them. For the home islands, we are doing an okay job. We could use more fighters. Definitely use more fighters, but, you know, that's a recurring theme of this war. At least for now, because once this war is over, I'm going to probably re redistribute all of these planes so that... Uh oh Ooh. Uh, Let's put you here. Redistribute all these planes so that they are guarding some sort of air power. Yeah. Yeah. How, how are our heavy fighters? Yeah, we need more. We need more than just, you know, nine a day. How are the ships? Anyone get really damaged? Uh, maybe a few ships got hit a little bit. Oh, some of these destroyers got really bushwhacked. I don't want to do this, but we'll try it. Since there's n doesn't look like there's too many other ships in port. And it is a level 10 port, so it should heal fairly quickly. Oh, actually, let's build this up. We can learn better, learn more. Alright, alright. Sea of Japan. If we can do more damage to the home islands and ruin all their air bases, that could really help us out. So we're going to add a bunch more bombers if we can. So we need to get... You will solely focus on this as well as that. And really just hammer the hell out of their air bases. Ooh. All right, not bad. All right, and you are going ahead, which is good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. Uh, set it to 200, because that'll be fine for me. I don't really care. The less planes that Japan can field, the better. And actually, you know what? You know what? We'll put a strategic bomber here because we can. Yeah, we'll put it like that, because we can. And for the heavy fighters as well, I believe... Let's see... Here we're doing okay. We could do better for air superiority. In the Sea of Japan, we're doing we're doing fine. I think, probably not, but whatever. Japan itself needs this. Where are their air bases? It's hard to see without actually knowing where they are at. Oh, we got a lot of political power. Oh, I could cut off some of that. Uh, we got a lot of oil. <clears throat> thank you, Ottomans. And yeah, thank you, Ottomans, for all the chromium. Could use maybe a little bit more. Uh, aluminum. Ooh. That's not good. Keep shooting down those planes. I know our ships are getting just really hurt. Yeah, you're on. You can't do that. Alright, good. I really don't want to try an invasion until I have... Until we're ready. To launch the invasion. We are... Let's see, some divisions assigned to this have not reached a position yet. Uh... Guys. What the hell are you doing? You know what? Let's remove some of these guys off here. Let's remove them first, and maybe that'll help us out. And not cause so much infrastructural problems. Let's send you this way as well. Russia's coming in. We got some divisions. Oh, our divisions, I believe, are moving now. Some of them. Some of them are. I don't know why you are taking this long. Why are you not moving? Oh, that is completely suicidal. That, why? Why? Just because you don't like losing supplies doesn't mean you don't have a job to do. This is not cool, man. This is not cool. Oh, actually, we got another tank division, so that's cool. Ugh, trying to use Russian divisions. They're so arrogant sometimes. Oh, we sunk a Karma Cruiser. Nice. Sunk a bunch of convoys. Bunch more convoys, convoys, and oh, another another uh, Chinese ship, Sy Siamese stuff. All right, we can nuke if needed. If needed, I need more fighters. Awesome, a few more fighters here. Oh, that's st strategic bomber. You will come here to the Sea of China or Japan. I don't know what we're gonna call that yet. I want you to go when you can. So, go ahead and nuke this province. 
we're just going to nuke everything that's around here, just in case. I don't know how many nukes we have, honestly. So, this is complete. Honestly, I... Oh, look at that. So pretty. How many times can we nuke this place? Yeah, this is honestly a little treasonous. Just because you're going to lose... You know, take a little bit of attrition doesn't mean you have to not do your job, guys. Come on. And I know Japan was working on nuclear technology. I know they were. I tabbed over at one point. All right, let's see if the initial invasion will go well. It's probably not, because these guys are traitorous, traitorous, treasonous pieces, pieces of crap. Oh, and we need to do this. There we go. Now they're really going to get hit hard. Oh my gosh. They got, they'll got. they probably have a ton of planes. Can we please go ahead? Oh, we have some, we have some people going. God, good luck, guys. Good luck. You will need it. Can I actually nuke? Can I nuke? All the big cities? You know, Sendai? Uh, I don't want to nuke you again because your infrastructure probably isn't super good. Tokyo? Uh, sure! Kwanzaa? That oh, looks like Kwanzaa, so I'll nuke that. We're nuking Kwanzaa. We'll nuke this. We'll have, oh, we can actually see some things here. I don't know how many nukes we have, like I said. So, apparently, Japanese ships, or those my ships, can go on land now. Hiroshima. Because you have so many guys, we'll nuke it twice. You guys will nuke. Uh... Because you look like you have some people there. How many nukes have I made? Kagoshima. Oh, I guess we're out of nukes. Yeah, I'm out of nukes. So, I don't know how many times I've nuked. But something tells me we're going to learn very soon about the new creation of anime. Ah, yes. How many times did we nuke? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We nuked 10 times. Minus how many times we nuked up there. Or not minus that. We've nuked more than 10 times on the island of Japan, causing... Holy shit, that's a lot more casualties than when we checked last time. So, we have done quite a doozy to the enemies here. God, I hope our invasion will go okay. Oh my god, they've got so many... Oh my lord. How many divisions? they got one division here. Alright, then. Uh, okay, we lost an ally convoy. So it's okay. What's the manpower strength of Japan? I will end this episode soon, but just not yet. Please. Oh, we took this province. Great, great, great. Go ahead and try to get some naval ports there. As well as some ports. Oh my god, this is so many. That's so many divisions. Oh, we've got this place. It's just good as well. So go ahead and do this. We definitely have to build this up. We definitely need to take that territory. Oh my god, as soon as they landed, they were killed. Uh, oh. I need you to come this way. Take them out. They don't have very much strength. That's okay. They don't need to have a ton of strength. Take Amori. Cut these guys off because they already are cut off. Oh, we took it off. These guys are cut off until they put more soldiers over here. Good. Oh, we are trying to attack that province, but it's not working super well for us at the moment. Oh, we sunk an experimental uh, carrier, it looks like. Heavy carrier. That's good. We lost a plane. We sunk a Japanese cruiser. And we sunk eight more convoys, followed by two more convoys. Now, I'm sure my ships are be getting beaten to hell. But that's okay. They're doing a great job. I told them to split off when they need to. Probably going to cause more mass casualties anyways in terms of ships. But that's okay. Just build as many naval provinces or, you know, naval bases as you can. Oh, God. If I can, I will... Can we attack here and be successful? Take that. Oh, they have an air, air base. Oh, that's good if we can do that. I want... I need this province so we can get a good port going. Because if we can get, if we can get supplies into here, it'll literally be the end for Japan. Because they, must, much like ourselves, are suffering from major attrition. Any way I can get more supplies in, the better. Oh, signal companies are done. Very nice. Now, and this episode very, very soon. I know, I know. I'm a little bit over the mark. You know what? You look like he needs a little bit of help. The faster we can do this, the better. Crush them. Uh, you guys got one division that looks relatively okay. 40, yes, yes. Three divisions left. We can get the port, and once... Oh, we took this area, too. Once we can get the port, I will call in the rest of the military 
or the rest of the army, not the military. Oh, we already have all the military here. <gasps> oh my god! We actually got it. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Oh, we probably need to increase this as well. So, that being said, everyone here who had an order is coming down here. And we will make sure that we are ready for the next time. Uh, so go ahead and see if there's any extra divisions here that might be hiding. Please, my allies, do not send every single division you have to Japan because infrastructure will literally hit you for it. And this is where we will end our episode. So, guys, what have we done? We have taken out Transamur, if you can't remember. Uh, we have also taken almost all of... Well, we have taken all of Northern Continental Asia. And we have begun a, an extremely successful invasion of Japan. With that in mind, guys, thank you very much for staying with me through all of this. Leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you tomorrow when we destroy the rest of Japan and focus our sights on a new enemy, maybe. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.